Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph, I'm here with Rack, and today we're taking a first look at Project Elite from Simon and Artipia Games. This is something we have been looking forward to for a long time to get our hands on this cool, cool game. Let's get into it. And this is a kind of game that I might not usually be that interested in, but I heard so much good stuff about this one. So this is a, like, fighting off aliens or monsters, I think they're aliens, on a map. And at the same time, you will do this in real time. So you're going to roll dice in real time, which <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of real time games, but we'll see. I hope that I will enjoy this one. I guess these are the box for, let's see if we can get this open. Okay, so that was a bit fiddly, but that, that was basically the content of the box is this here, which I think, yeah, if we can see here, it's going to be, how do you open this? Okay, here, here we go. It's all the miniatures, right? And all right, so. Oh, lots of stuff. Lots of dice. Okay. And there's different kinds of dice. And yeah, I've seen playthroughs of this back in the days when it came out from Kickstarter and so on. I think it was a while where it was hard to get this. And now it's released for retail, which is uh, really cool. And yeah, lots of different small boxes. Here's some cards and some boss spawns. Here's some face cards. Let's take a look at the miniatures, right? So here we have some big alien or demon or whatever it is. And I don't know. It's a lot of detail in the miniature. I'll say that. But wow, look at this leg. What's up with that? Looks like something's wrong there with the plastic. Yeah, I mean, the the feel here is that they feel it. This, this type of plastic, I'm not sure what it's called, if it's some kind, special kind of resin or whatever it is. It just feels a little bit cheap to me. It feels like they, they don't bring as much detail as some other miniatures do. Even though they has a lot of they have a lot of structure and so on. Like the scales here. I am probably going to paint these as well. That is the plan. And I will probably do it by trying out some new army painter um, paints that's coming soon as well from Game Maniacs. I don't know. They look okay. The characters, I think, I mean, these look better in a sense, I think, than the monsters. These are highly detailed and feels a bit, it just feels a little bit like, you know, it's not as thick as some plastic, but this is okay. Yeah, looks cool. It's gonna be fun to paint these. I'm not gonna paint them in detail, don't really do that much these days. I just do some kind of details and then I wash them and so on. Starting with the spray, uh, you know, coat of spray paint and then let's see. Then we need to get into the bottom layer here. So here we have what I would assume are the sort of base aliens. And again, very lightweight. Maybe that's why I get this feeling that they are like, oh, this, these are actually, huh, they have a hole there. Are they supposed to Hmm. Is he loose? <laughs> Looks like his leg. Are they all like that? No, the other ones are standing. I guess he got loose here with his leg. <laughs> I don't know. It's obvious that they are attached there, I guess. For some reason he didn't attach properly. And I guess the same goes for these, but yeah, they look okay. They look okay. With a little bit of uh, wash on them and some kind of alien dogs or whatever. Uh, look really disgusting. <laughs> I mean, they all look pretty disgusting. It's like basically they don't have faces. They don't have like, well, they have eyes, I guess. I'm not sure. They look pretty nasty. Yeah, so these are going to come for us and we need to beat them by rolling these dice, doing damage and so on. Here's the map, which is pretty huge, I think. Let's see if I can show it to you in a good way. Like this. So we have like a base over here that we are defending, I think, and then they will spawn out here in different spawn points. And they will, all these arrows will tell us how they will move. 
And from what I've seen this played, it looks really hectic because you basically have a, a timer and then you're moving them and then you got to fight them, stop them from getting in here to your base. On the other side is another map. So it's nice that we have two maps with the game. So here we have some kind of crashed, what is it, a spaceship, I think, or something that has crashed. And again, I think we are you know, defending or fighting them off out here. And we have all these markers to indicate how they move. And here's our base, I think, that they are trying to get to. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Then we have some characters. And they have these sort of, I don't know what this is called, really. It's not double layered. But I do like this. I mean, if you're not going to have double layered player boards, then I, I like that they like it when they do this. Because at least you have basically the table or whatever you have under is like the other layer. So you can still have cubes and so on that sticks there. So we have a Kusha, quick reflexes. So they have a special ability as well. And then we have a bunch of, well, how many are there? It's like three, four, like six different characters in here. And I guess here we can put like a weapon card and another weapon, maybe some items on the side. Then we have some tokens, maybe for health and so on. And here's some demolition, exploration, recon. And some big tokens up here, okay. And we're gonna take a look at the cards. And also this, that was in this box here, which is pretty cool that they have a, a little timer in here. So uh, you don't need to have it on your phone. You can uh, use this, it even comes with batteries. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But it comes with the game. And so we have some small cards. I think these are weapons. Oh, yeah, they're a cyclone weapon, exo shotgun, seeker gun, so on. Grenade launcher. I think these show you, like each hit or three hits. I think these show different die faces. So when you're rolling these dice, yeah, you're looking for like a gun. And then you're going to have, if you have like this weapon, you need to like, or this item, you need to put like two dice on it to have the matching symbol in order to trigger that effect. I think that's how it works. And there's some swarm pants, a power armor, recharger. Yeah, there's more items in here. There's some biter, I guess maybe this is how they spawn. The runners, dog-like things, the shooters. And we have some big cards. So here we have boss spawns. Okay, they're all, there's a lot of boss spawns in here. Wasn't that loud, but there we go. There's some, and <laughs> so here's a, Swarm stats. So you have some stats for the different enemies. Uh, oh, there's a lot of all clears in here, but then you can get the Thrakes. Okay, that's the big, the big miniatures, the bosses, the Mind Eater, and so on. Naga. <laughs> Naga in here. Uh, all right, they showed up from Warcraft. And then you have events. And then some uh, player helper cards there, some. Like a Bosch, Bosch Rush, immediately reveal and resolve an additional bot spawn card. No effect, nothing happens, little smiley face. And okay, that's cool. So we're probably going to draw some events uh, during the gameplay as well. Yeah, I'll figure out how it all works. We'll be learning it, try it out, and then I'll be back with a playthrough. It's going to be a live stream. It's going to be really interesting to do a real-time game in a live stream with Draco that's going to be hectic but it's also going to be fun so don't miss that and make sure you are subscribed to the channel click the red button down there it's all free and that way if you click the little bell symbol as well you will get notifications from YouTube when I post new videos like that live stream that is coming up for this game it's going to be really fun hope you enjoyed this unboxing have a great evening morning or whatever you're watching take care bye bye